Hey guys, welcome to another lead code tutorial. In this video, we are looking at problem number 88 on lead code, which is merge sorted array. This is of easy difficulty and uh, it has been asked by companies like Amazon, Google and Bloomberg before. The problem statement says that we are given two array of integers which are sorted in non-decreasing order, that is ascending order. And we are also given two integers M and N representing the number of elements in nums1 and nums2 respectively. So looking at the example here, I'm just going to copy nums1 and nums2. So nums1, um, the number of elements in nums1 are, are three according to M. Uh, we'll just see why it is three. So if you, if you count the number of digits in the array, it's actually six, but it's saying it's three because uh, the elements that are set to zero should be ignored. So think of it as, uh, a box where we have some numbers and some empty space. Okay. And then uh, the nums one, the empty spots in nums one are exactly equal to the number of elements in nums two. So nums one has m plus n minus one um, total number of spaces. That is, uh, it can accommodate all the values of nums two within nums one. I hope that is clear to you guys. Now, now the challenge here is uh, we need to put all the elements in nums1 and merge them into, sorry, uh, all the elements in nums2 and merge them into nums1. So, and, and that's not only it, we should also make nums1 into a, a sorted array, right? If you look at this example, the result, the expected result that we need is one, two, two, three, five, six. So one, two, two, and then three, five, six. Um, the element two, has taken the place of element two, uh, the first element in nums two has taken the place of three here and three has been moved to the uh, next index and then five and six from nums two have occupied the remaining spaces. Okay, now let's talk about the approach of solving this. One way to solve this is by uh, starting, by taking two pointers and starting at the first index of each uh, array, nums one and nums two. And then you start comparing them if uh, each element and if nums1 is less than nums2, you increment uh, the pointer. So let me call this i and j. So increment i uh, and then you can uh, you can compare these two. If, since they are equal, you can go to uh, the next pointer, increment i again. If you find an element in i that is greater than the element in here, nums2, all you do is you you swap them, right? So you can put two and then you can put uh, three in here and then you can increment I again. Now all you have is three, five, six. And then um, since you've already hit an empty spot, uh, you just need to uh, keep copying uh, these numbers. So, so, so whenever I find a, an empty spot, that means I've already hit the end of the uh, M uh, units and M digits in, in nums one. So I'll just copy three, increment J, copy five, um, increment I again, and increment J again, and copy six. So this is one way to do it. But with this approach, there is also one more uh, test case. Let's talk about that, where we might have to do a sort on the array. So let's take this example, and then nums2, where we have one, uh, two, and three. In this case, uh, when you start off with this i and j, so you compare nums1 of i with nums2 of j, nums1 of i is actually greater than nums2 of j. So when you swap it uh, with this, what should ha what happens is the nums2 array is no longer sorted. So you have to sort this uh, and then um, add two, three, four. So it becomes two, three, four. And, and then you continue uh, doing the comparisons again. And then you should conditionally uh, start incrementing these values. So what will happen is once you have swapped uh, i with j, you need, you'll move your i to here and then uh, j will still be pointing here. Whenever you swap, you just move i uh, to the next pointer. Then you can do, you can just copy since you have hit the empty spots. All you do is you copy uh, j values into nums2 values into nums1 value empty spots. So I'm just going to move uh, three uh, i and j and then copy three, move i and j, copy four. 
so this is how um, we we can work on this but the the extra step is in some of the cases you might have to do a sort a better approach would be let's let's get rid of this uh, maybe let, let me just use the same example uh, here um, and then set it back to the original array of nums1 and then this will be 256 okay now instead of starting at the very uh, beginning of the arrays i'm going to put my i pointer at the mth value and then j will be at the end of nums2 and this time i'm going to use an extra pointer called k at the very end of the array okay since we know that both of these arrays are already in sorted order uh, we can we can just take that to our advantage and start filling the uh, nums1 array from the very end so now this time what i'm going to do is i will be comparing my 3 with uh, 6 nums1 of i with nums2 of j since 6 is bigger i'm just going to copy 6 at the kth position which is at the last position of the array so i know that these two are sorted so nums2 whatever is bigger in these two elements should come at the very end of nums1 so that's straightforward so i have put that there uh, and since i have copied an element from nums2 i'm going to decrement my j pointer and also put my k pointer to the next biggest number okay so this will this should contain the next biggest number in the um, nums1 array now what i'm going to do is i'll be comparing my 3 with my 5 nums1 of 3 with nums2 of 5 in this case uh, 5 is bigger, so I'm just going to copy 5. And since I've copied it from nums2 array, so I'll be moving my j to uh, j minus minus and j point j to the beginning of my nums2 array. And also put my k here. All right, now I'm going to compare uh, nums1 of i with nums2 of j. This time uh, I found uh, nums1 of i to be greater than nums2 of j. So I'm going to copy this value. Uh, 3 uh, by taking from nums1 of i and putting it in the empty spot. Since I have copied it from nums1 of i, I'm going to this time decrement i and also uh, decrement my k value. Okay, so the k is decremented no matter what. So even if you if you are copying it from i or if you are copying it from uh, the next array, uh, you are you are either decrementing i or j. But in both the cases, k uh, is also decremented uh, no matter what. And now uh, we are comparing with uh, nums1 of i with nums2 of j. In this case, both are equal. So I'm just going to copy my um, the value from nums2 of j and I'm going to put it here. So this time I'm just going to decrement j, uh, which goes out of bound. And then my k is also decremented uh, by 1. Now, since we have already reached the front of nums2, that means we have successfully put all of our nums2 elements in our nums1, which is the actual problem that we are trying to solve. If we get to the beginning of nums2, that means we have already placed all the elements uh, within the sorted array, uh, in, in a sorted order within nums1. So that's how we are going to solve this problem. Now, let me put this in the form of code. Um, what will happen is i'm going to declare a bunch of variables first so let k is, is equal to m plus n minus one so it needs to start at the very end of nums1 so nums1's length is uh, m plus n uh, and since our indexes start from zero i'm going to decrement it by one okay now i'm going to create two more pointers which are pointing to nums1 and nums2 respectively so it's going to have a size of uh, it's going to point at m minus one i will be pointing at m minus one and j will be pointing at n minus one okay now we are going to be uh using our condition our base condition is while j is greater than or equal to zero uh, we are going to continue uh, we are going to repeat this process now the check that we need to make here is if nums1 of i is greater than or equal to nums2 of j then we are going to do something and then else we need to do something else so let's uh, figure this out if nums uh, let's talk about the else part right if nums2 of j is greater uh, which we have seen uh, here 
nums two of j is greater. You know what to do. What we need to do is nums one of k. So it's always going to be nums one of k. We are since we are pushing elements into or or replacing the empty slots in nums one. So and k is pointing to the empty slots. Nums one of k is equal to nums two of j. So this is what we are going to do. And then since we are copying it from nums two, and j is the pointer of nums two, we are going to decrement it by one every time you copy a value from nums two. Similarly, if nums one of i is greater than nums two of j, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, replace nums one of k with nums one of i. Okay, and this time we'll be decrementing the i pointer that is pointing to nums one. Okay, let me look for any typos here. Okay, this looks good to me. And in both the cases, no matter what uh, what the condition is, uh, irrespective of the condition, you decrement k because whenever you fill an empty spot, you need to go to the uh, previous spot of that uh, filled element because uh, this time you are going to fill a different spot uh, coming from right to left. So you decrement k value. And uh, once you are done, and once uh, uh, your j goes out of bounds, uh, then what you need to do is you just need to return uh, nums one, which is which will be a sorted uh, array. So let me go ahead and run this. As you can see, uh, our uh, test cases, all the test cases pass. So one two three zero 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 and two five six. It has successfully put one two two three five six. Let's look at the other ones. If, if there's only one, uh, the output will be one, and then if it's zero, uh, and then nums two is one, you just put uh, n equal to one. The output will be one, uh, and then yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And let me also uh, try it out with a different test case. Uh, four zero zero. Uh, maybe add one more zero, and then this will be uh, just one because we have only one element. And then let's take one, two, and three, and then have our n as three because we have three elements here. Now we need to replace all these values, and our output should be one, two, three, four. So let's run this. So our case four, the value output is one, two, three, four. So uh, all the test cases have passed. So I'm going to go ahead and submit the solution. The solution has been accepted, and that is how you solve merge sorted array problem on lead code. I hope you have learned something out of this video. Uh, if so, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. That will help me grow my channel. And I'll be posting more videos on this, uh, on lead code problems. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.